ass bitch Josh, welcome to all my more, my bro. How you doing? I'm good, man. Thanks so, for having me on. Thank you for coming on, man. McGun RS, man. Yeah, man. So let's get straight to it, man. What's well, going on? Um, this is Mark III McGann RS cup chassis. It's a luxe pack, so it's got fancy Recaros in it. It's four rods and pistons with a rebuilt head about two years ago. Okay. So it's pushing about 358 brake Damn. and somewhere around 380 foot pound which is near 500 newton meters at all mm. um it's got bigger injectors hybrid turbo tubular manifold decat downpipe and full system stage two intercooler um and i'm sure you'll find some comments about this but the stage two intercoolers come up to about here okay hence the holes in the front and not just for show mm. these tend to get really hot and having the intercooler come up to there it blocks a lot of air feed. I know they're made out of fins, but I've been told it blocked a lot of air feed to the rad. To stop it getting too hot, if it was ever on track, the holes are there to feed air into what's left of the radiator, what you can get to. So you did them yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, bro, because they actually look like they come factory. Like, the way they've they done do the work cool. is... I mean, if you get up close, one of them is out of place, but... <laughs> okay. It was just me with a drill and some mm. tape. No, I've got to hand it to you, bro. That actually looks like... It looks yeah. factory-like. Well, I got the idea off the forum. A few of them do it. Like I said, because of the intercooler problem, I guess some of them thought, you know, that's, mm. that's the best way to get around it. I haven't had it on track yet to even see if it helps, but... It looks cool. So but this is a track car. Have you, ta have you taken it on track at all? Or? No, I haven't taken it on track. Okay. I haven't had it long, to be honest. Um, but I've had some fun in some private roads. Private roads, yeah. yeah. Mexico City, yeah? yeah? Mexico City. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's probably where I saw you <laughs> to yeah, get on the think, channel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's it. Um, but yeah, yeah so man. Uh, Engine-wise, what I've just listed, it's got a billet flyable, a gearbox is standard, drive shafts are standard. It seems to handle it all right so far. Mm. I haven't had anything to snap or break. Damn. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it, engine-wise. Okay, so uh, what about exterior-wise? Have you changed anything, um, or is it uh, most Well, it's obviously, apart from the holes, it's got a black wrap roof, mm. which came with the car, uh, black handles. I think, you know, the mods you have done, like, you know, it's good color, color coordination, like, you know, the black roof against the yellow, I think it actually does look... Black and yellow, Yeah, it? It, it, got, it, it does it does go well, like yes. Bumblebee, like, you know what I mean? It's an angry Bumblebee, this thing. For yeah. real. But, um, um, so the wheels, it's got a Maxton little lip on the spoiler. It's got a carbon surround on the, around the exhaust. Okay. You can't see that, it's covered in soot about two seconds after that. <laughs> um, these NK or NK, however you say it, 9J by 17 wheels. They're super lightweight, which is pretty good to get, you know, it's light wheels apparently getting, um, it's hard to get unladen weight reduced. I'm not sure how you say that. <laughs> You've very no better than I do. <laughs> yeah, anyway, it, yeah, they're, they're, they're wicked wheels. They're pretty cool. What about interior-wise? Have you done anything? Um, um, nothing drastic in the interior. It came with the Recaro CSs. Yep. Um, the rear's been stripped out. It's got a boot mat that covers from the where the rear seats were to the boot, which makes it look a lot neater. Um, it's a massive boot. You can boot, sleep yeah, in there. <laughs> discreet little boot build under the carpet, just because the stereo and it's cracked. I need some sort of base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's got a restitched suede steering wheel and a CAE shifter inside, which I think makes the interior. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what, those two things, especially the shifter, like when I jumped in it, like I was like, how does this work? <laughs> and I was just saying that that's the first thing you see and I'm just like, how does this work? Because it just looks like, it just looks crazy. But I think all the mods you've done, they're very tasteful and they, you know, it brings out the car, especially like even like just exterior mods and interior and obviously the engine speaks for itself. But well, luckily enough, actually, I mean, most of my other cars I've bought standard and done stuff too, but this is one of the cars that I, I actually bought with 99% of this done. Okay. Bar the holes and a couple other bits I've done, like a tubular manifold. And uh, it had a tubular manifold on it, but it was a cheap Chinese mm. one. It was thin. I got a nice, thick, three millimeter stainless steel manifold on it. And I've been fixing niggly bits since I bought it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, majority of the work was done before I bought it. I bought it off someone um, up in Manchester who specializes in selling these. Alex okay. Bennett, he's got a website called Performance Only. Mm. And he, yeah. That's where I got this from. And I was looking at um, you know, on your um, 
on your windscreen it says the crown do you want to just tell me about well, where i i knew it was a hotel in germany i think um and if you look up the crown now you can go on there and you can actually rent their cars for the nurburgring okay and they've got anything from a citroen c1 too they've got a couple of these on there an m3 this that and the other and uh, when i bought this i took it to a garage in dartford uh, a friend of mine there, Alfie, he's got one of these. Mm. And he said, ah, oh, I think I know this car. This car was actually registered in Germany a few years back. Okay. And it was one of their rentals. Damn. So in my head, I'm like, oh, no, I bought a car that's been absolutely abused. Right, but yeah. <laughs> two years ago, um, so the guy, kid who, kid who owned this, a young lad, he put a hybrid turbo on it without forging anything, bent a rod. So yeah, forged Damn. rods, forged pistons after that, and refreshed the head. So the engine's only on about 15k. It's okay. pretty, pretty fresh. No, but that's crazy, man. That, that, you know, the car's got character. It's, you know, yeah, it's, it's got some history to it. Yeah. Mm. So is the gearbox, which is what's worrying me. <laughs> we move. Then we move. Send it till you end it, yeah? That's the car covered. Should we go for a drive? Yeah, man. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, <laughs>
this right now. <laughs> oh shit. Nah, this car's different. This car's different, Josh. The yeah, drip is mad, different. It's mad. Mate. <laughs> Um, this car Like I've been in a lot of fast cars here But this just gives a different feeling Because it's like That's what I'm saying It's like that go-kart feeling It's not like one of these new cars A lot more refined it's Yeah It's a bit more Oh, <laughs> 
So that's the end of the video guys thank you for watching make sure to like share and subscribe this video and leave your comments down below what you think of the car what you think of the video um make sure to follow up the owner josh uh what's your instagram josh with a five underscore one that's perfect make sure to follow him up and we'll catch you on the next video in a bit later safe